All right, hi, hello and welcome back. Welcome back to episode two of this series of the Lego Harry Potter games years five through seven. Back again with some of that Harry Potter action, some face cam still and some below 60 FPS definitely as well. That's still in there. I've turned on V-Sync right now. That might make it a bit better. Uh, how do I select spells again? Mm, I guess I can't really change spells right now because I know that in the previous games we had a spell to remove these green, um, these green plants from somewhere, but doesn't seem to be the case right now. Yes, Diagon Alley, the place where uh, Mundungus Fletcher. Oh, he's like a thief sales kind of man, but he mostly sells things that he just stole, so it's not really legal. He's the guy standing right here. Diagon Alley. It's the place where a lot of new students get all of their school supplies. Supplies, of course. Harry goes here in the first year with uh, Hagrid, who is stuck behind a cage right here. Let's try to free my man. Uh, mm, doesn't, look, doesn't look that comfortable for him. Oh, and here we are back again. The, the leaky cauldron. It's probably the leaky cauldron, right? Another golden brick. Really stacking him up. Not that I'm ever going to do anything with them because... Well, once com once I have completed this game for the series, I don't think I'm going to really be replaying it. They are great games, don't get me wrong, but it's not something that I would just put on as a single player game to play randomly in my free time, I think. And there we are. Nine and three quarters. Finally on our way to Hogwarts. What's this guy's deal? Does he need like a ticket or something? This box has the same image on it. I guess it's just like a train ticket, no? I guess so. Are we headed off to Hogwarts, finally? Oh, we missed the student in peril. No, it's no big deal. We're not even in a level still. So much unnecessary introductory shit. There we go. I've seen this bridge in real life. I should look at my camera and not at myself in the other screen. I should really remember to look at the camera. After a very short cutscene, here we are again. Who is that with us? Is that supposed to be Luna? That doesn't look like Luna at all. It looks like a version of Luna that they tried to... It is Luna. It looks like a version of Luna, but they were like, no, but we gotta make her look really good though. It's quite sad. Not that Luna's not good looking, but a different kind of vibe in the movie, you know? Compared to the one that we see right here. And following the train tracks. Pretty great advice for real life as well, probably. Here you can see, indeed, another feature. One of those pipes. You need some small critters for that. So, for example, for example uh, Hermione's cat. I was gonna say Ron's rat. But considering we're in the fifth movie, we know, of course, that Ron's rat is not gonna be with us anymore. Because that was actually Peter Pettigrew in disguise. Oh, Hagrid. You freed yourself, huh, buddy? It's the start of the school year. Everybody's arriving back at Hogwarts. Some weird mushroom guys attacking us as well. Don't remember that from the movies or the books, but... First new episode of this series went up earlier today at 3 in the afternoon. Uh, Western European time is probably a great way to describe it. My regular upload hour. I don't know why I picked 3 in the afternoon. I think it was because when I started YouTube, that was when Northern Lion uploaded his Spining of Isaac videos. Watch the previous episode. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it a bit. I watched it myself in its entirety at double speed just to see if I didn't make any major hiccups while editing, but it seemed fine. Normally when I upload it, I would up upscale my video up until like almost 4k heights to make the YouTube upload algorithm do a bit better. But now I stopped doing that because maybe it made the video look like 2% better or something like that. But it also made the video like 50% larger. I would have files from like for like 10 gigabytes on my computer and it's not necessarily worth it, I think. So if you have godly vision, and you did notice the videos being a bit different than earlier, that is why. They are not just huge, huge video files anymore. This Harry Potter episode, the previous one, was for example only like 3 gigabytes or something, which is way more manageable for me as well. And especially for my internet, because that has been acting up out of control a lot lately. So uploading the previous video wasn't that easy either. I really had to wait a while. Because my exams are have only been done for a couple of days. My rhythm is still very much on exam mode. So I wake up each morning at like 8 or even earlier sometimes. And this morning I felt pretty tired. I stayed up until like 1 uh, last night. Maybe half past 1. So that was pretty late for the last couple of weeks for the, in, in comparison to those days. But I woke up at like 8.20 or something. And um, 
I just wanted to lay in bed and I did that but first of all I got up out of bed and I actually put on the rendering for the first part so that that could be done when I got out of bed and it was a smart decision absolute banger of a soundtrack as always of course didn't expect anything else from Harry Potter Professor McGonagall is out there clapping for us I've literally been recording again for 15 minutes and we haven't even started a mission yet that's great it's just so distracting that you can like hit everything and just keep collecting studs but i'm never gonna do anything with these studs so i don't know why i keep doing it three out of four huh so we missed one i'm not gonna go back and look for that let's just advance there we go introduction to the fifth year Dolores Umbridge. Oh, that moment in the movie is literally something that. All right. That scene in the movie where Umbridge like coughs a bit to emphasize that she wants to say some words in her introduction. You know when you get the towel all wet and you have to like wring it out like this, you know, you like you, you have to you have to like do this. That's what you want to do with her neck when you see her doing that. Orange paintings are ones that you can shoot to interact with. We know that from the previous games. And the yellow paintings are the ones you can actually talk to, if I'm not mistaken. What do you want? You, you need flowers, otherwise you won't let us pass. Well, I've got good news for you. They're right here. Back in the castle hallways. Stupid, ugly bitch is over here. Feels great to be back in Hogwarts, you know? It's been a while. Oh, I love how they kept the scenery the same. Here we go. <laughs> Just... Just straight off of the bench, just yeet them off there. And here is the lion head, which led to a secret passageway in the previous games. Oh, it's all coming back. Probably just gonna be doing a class right now, I would imagine. I don't remember which classroom was where. I'm, I'm not that proficient at memory. Oh, this is the Defenses Against the Dark Arts classroom, I guess. Ah. <sighs> If it is the case, this is going to be where Dolores Umbridge is going to be teaching us, I guess. Or this is a class about making paper planes, that's also possible. Still not in the mission, huh? Oh, right, all right. So this indicates that we can speak parcel tongue to the snakes. And I guess we had to pay attention what it was. I think it was this, right? I guess I got it right. So that's what those cabinets indicate. That's something for Harry because he can speak parcel tongue, of course. This is to go onto the camera, I believe. Is it a camera? It definitely is. Projecting something, whatever that might be. I guess what we need to release Malfoy here as a playable character is in this chest, which we cannot access right now. Oh, are we making a potion? That's why we're holding this thing. It's an ingredient for a potion, probably. And it's probably going to be for a potion of strength to open this cabinet over here. Yes, right here. But we don't seem to have a cauldron yet to create our potion in. It's probably to create a cauldron. Absolutely. All right. Figuring things out as we go along here. We are still missing one piece. Man, one piece. That's something I could do this vacation. Start watching one piece again. It's something I almost always do in the vacation. Because it, well, it takes up a lot of your time, of course. If you don't know. Oh, there we go, student apparel. One Piece is quite a show. It's an anime, sh anime show about a boy who wants to become the Pirate King. And it has probably approximately about 5 billion episodes, I would say. 
but it is one of the best out there that's for sure really always enjoy myself and watching that my brother got me into it he's also a very big fan of course and he's like he actually reads the new chapters even he doesn't even watch the show anymore he just can't wait for the delay on the animated episodes he just wants to know the story which i respect of course me personally i've only watched the show i've read some of the anime chapters because we had some of them at home but maybe that's something that we need to get this last piece there's a target on there so i suppose we should sh try to shoot it down uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. there we go there we go there we go potion is gonna be complete and we're gonna be able to open up this cabinet they really kept this symbol huh but now it seems like you can use one cauldron to get all of the effects from every single potion there we go we're on this pretty buff now we will be able to open up the closet and inside we find what do we find oh right the paper plane which we were building from the start isn't this gonna literally kill Malfoy? Oh, alright, so it was all for nothing. <laughs> nice little kitty. <laughs> so ridiculous. Alright, we just received a gold brick, so I guess we kind of completed the class. What we just saw signified the new era of defense against the dark arts teaching. Normally, this is a class where you learn how to protect yourself from dark wizards and stuff, but Dolores Umbridge works for the Ministry. She's the teacher for this class right now, and she works for the Ministry. Now, the Ministry doesn't want people to believe Lord Voldemort is back, and because of that, they are supposed to believe that they are just safe and that they don't need defense against the dark arts spells. And that's why we saw that no ones were allowed in this class and now we are looking for a key for this green door it's not blue don't worry oh all right and now we have multiple abilities on each character and now i can show you that hermione has a cat that can fit right through here and i see a green key up there so figuring stuff out rather quickly if I do say so myself. Let's move around with Harry a bit again, shall we? So that was one class completed. I guess we should do like one more thing in this episode because I feel like it hasn't been that many meaning that much meaningful content for now. But I am gonna make sure to move a bit quicker throughout these games because I would normally do only one mission each episode and really stretch it out. But I'm gonna spend less time just randomly collecting studs, I think, and more time showing you the the meat and potatoes of the game, as they say in English. Just the actual story and the, the core, the core of the game. Hello, yes, do we need to, like, kill you or are you just gonna give the spoon? There you go, one spoon slash golf club for you. Really weird that they suddenly put so much emphasis on delivering random objects to random people. And here we have the dog cookies again so that the secret passage back here can get opened again. All right. It feels so nice to be in exactly the same environment as the earlier game. There's not a lot of games that do that. First thing that came to mind for me was, for example, the Grand Theft Auto franchise, but they have a different city for each game as well. They don't reuse the same environments. You, um, yeah, Lumos, that's what I was talking about earlier. I wonder what the button is. Is this Lumos? It definitely is. I wonder what the button is to bring up the wheel for your spells. I'm sure we'll figure it out later. But yeah, Grand Theft Auto, they use different cities for each for each game. You could argue that San Andreas and get GTA 5 are actually set in the same city, that's true, but it's still a completely different environment, of course, because it has been updated and expanded. Oh man, this area is still exactly the same almost. The camera angles are a bit different though, but that's a welcome change, I think. There we go. Is that Luna again? Probably is. Oh, is Luna gonna show us like the weird skeletal horses that nobody else can see except for Harry? Kind of skipped over that part, but yeah, there they are. Only people that have seen someone die can see those animals. And that's of course why Ron and Hermione are thinking that Harry's gone crazy, because they haven't seen anyone die. But Harry saw Sirius Black die in the previous movie. He looks way too, like, like Luna wouldn't wear that kind of lipstick, I think, and uh, it just, it feels off, you know? She looks like a supermodel, but Luna should be this down-to-earth girl that we can all relate to because she's a bit weird and doesn't really fit in. Alright, 
are we in a mission right now? We are still not in a mission. I guess this is more of a class type of thing. Don't walk into that water, apparently. Some warning or a barrier or something would be nice, but no. This guy wants a fish. There's a fish in the water right here. There's a plant that we can scare away with Lumos. Uh, is that a student in despair? It sure is. There we go. We're saving a lot of them today. Student in peril, not in despair. But that word kind of means the same thing. Oh, there we go. We made a little fishing rod. Get our fish out of the water. And now we can finally deliver the fish to the weird creature. I I, I don't know his name. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce anything. Because I literally couldn't have the slightest idea. Uh, can we try to jump onto the rock? Or is there a better way? Seems to work. Uh, Luna, could you hold the flip on for one second, please? Jesus Christ. They really up their lighting game in this one. You can see all the light rays coming through the, the roof of the forest, I believe it's called. And that's a, a great idea, you know, to upgrade things like the soundtrack and things like the lighting, for example. But to just keep those 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 Lego vibes and those details into play, just update things that don't disturb the actual Lego look of things. It is Thursday right now. That means that it's Friday here at home. One of the best days of the week for obvious reasons. If you're not from around Belgium, you might not know this, but Belgium is pretty well known for its fries. I already fed the birds today. That's one of the things that I do when I get up normally now. Since exams, because it's kind of like something that helped me calm down a bit in the morning. You know, it's something that I did really mindfully. I paid my full attention to it while I was doing it. And it was just outside, nice and cold. Or, well, a bit colder at least. Because the inside of our houses here in Belgium were scorching the last couple of weeks. And just, yeah, just me with a bucket with some seeds, a little scoop. And just walking around the garden trying to not forget about any little compartments. Oops. And just providing the birds with some nice little seeds. They definitely have to eat too. It was just something to kind of reset your mind to start your day, you know. Because I always did it in the morning right after breakfast. And I am trying to still do it right now. Even though exams are over. Well, that's Luna. That's way more Luna. But I don't know why she all of a sudden has that on in the middle of the forest. Destrals, I guess that's their name. And unlocked, so that might mean that we could use them in the future. But to find out if we are going to use them in the future, we are going to have to look at the next episode because I've been recording for 35 minutes already. Thanks a lot for watching. It was a lot of fun. We messed around a little bit, but it was still fun. Ah, man. Missed recording. Great to be back. Hope you find that as well and hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.